Okay, today is July 26, 2015. Hope everybody is enjoying the weekend. Uh, let's go to the uh, market and then we uh, take a look at a uh, couple stocks that is scheduled for uh, earning report next week and then we'll look at uh, the few of our, our favorite, you know, Apple and uh, Amazon and those guys. So let's start off with uh, the S&P 500. As you can see on the S&P 500, we've been talking about this, uh, you know, 2079 level. Right, essentially, it's these close down here. Okay, so and also on the uh, resistance level, we're essentially uh, looking at these pivot up here and somewhere around this uh, 21, you know, this close here, that's 2124. And as we could see last week, uh, the uh, market just uh, you know continues to slide, and you can see this uh, little bit of an evening star type of pattern here. Okay, that have developed. And that's kind of gave us a clue that uh, a, a little bit of a pullback would be uh, would be expected, but uh, it turned out to be a little bit more than a, a little bit of a pullback. Now uh, we also saw, you know, basically we got four consecutive down day, and uh, we could see uh, maybe on Monday if it come come down uh, again, then that will be fine. So uh, you know, either we get a bounce on Monday or maybe Tuesday. Okay, so it depends on uh, you know what kind of uh, you know sentiment is going to come into the market uh, next week so uh, uh, if we get a bounce we probably get a bounce back up to somewhere around this uh, 50 percent or 618 uh, level which is close to this uh, 2100 area or the uh, 2090 okay so we'll probably get a little bit bounce and, and then come back and if it can't hold we test this uh, 2079 and if it can't hold this level then we probably could see it come down to uh, test these pivot low down here somewhere around 2056 and then uh, head down here to this uh, 2040 or 2039 essentially it's forming this what it was to be a little bit more prominent uh, head and shoulder right because I was looking at it in one of my scenario was basically this so as it turned out it uh, came up here so it's more of a double top type of thing but in regardless, remember I also said that it doesn't matter what pattern it develop unless it take out the uh, the previous all-time high. We still basically looking at a major move at this particular, you know, uh, distance here to project it down to uh, somewhere around. Let me uh, go back and uh, you know to that December level here. So uh, let me go and uh, use this Fibonacci extension tool, and if we could uh, look at is uh, at 78.6 or somewhere around there so essentially it is down at these uh, you know this uh, December uh, close here this low I uh, essentially we're uh, looking at somewhere around this 1972 and on the 78.6 it's essentially 1965 so it's down in that area but uh, you know who knows right when it come down here my hole and then we get a little bit of a bounce because there are other indicator on a breath indicator that I've been monitoring and one of them, I'm basically looking for it to uh, reach the extreme level. When it get to the extreme level, then we usually get a uh, low reversal on the market. So I'm gonna, so I'm still waiting for that indicator to turn, and uh, see how much further it's gonna drop to get to that extreme level. And then once I see a turn, then uh, I will uh, see the uh, you know be looking out for the market to turn back up but until then I mean it's all academic right now so right now we're basically going to be watching at these levels here and for a potential bounce next week on the uh, S&P then on the spider just go and look on the spider to that correspond to S&P 500 right, so essentially we're looking at this 20790 that 208 level it came down it's basically this pivot close here see that's one of the reasons why I use the close is the most likely the uh, the, the intraday price will tag those close rather than the low the intraday low so uh, so I'm using that as a guideline it's nothing sacred about low and close it's just uh, you know depending uh, where you want to set your alerts on you know so right now you know looking at this 2000 I mean 208 essentially this uh, 20795 and if we get a bounce we might get a bounce back up to this 209 and possibly up to this 210 level here but if it come down again you know essentially looking at 205 204 level down here at these pivot low here Okay, for uh, essentially, uh, again, it was uh, more of a, uh, you know, a, a, uh, a head and shoulder type of a uh, uh, pattern 
developing right now you know this is a little bit more of a head and shoulder pattern because right here is still a little bit of an under here but still again you know we we essentially are talking about this major move here anyway in regardless we're looking at the trading band or a uh, head and shoulder type of a pattern okay and if we break this 204 205 you know we're essentially looking at level down here at this 198 you know somewhere you know where this uh, december closes Okay, so uh, looking at the uh, Dow Jones, uh, you see the Dow Jones, this is the 519 high, and that was the day that uh, we noticed that it closed with a new all-time high with negative breath, and that is a clear indication the market got weakened. And, uh, you know, so right now, or, or essentially telling you this high is not a really a good, you know, a, a valid high with substance, right? You know, so essentially right now we're looking for this thing to come down to 19.5, I mean 17.515, testing this level here. You can see this could be a little bit of a right shoulder as well. But then if we break this, again, we're basically looking for a little bounce, and we can see a bounce back up to the 17.766, and then come down and we test this uh, 17.515. And if we break this level, then we're basically looking at to come down to 17.164, 17.067. These, uh, you know, the December uh, close, okay, those type of level there. And, uh, you know, the transportation still sort of, uh, you know, encountering this uh, uh, resistance, just kind of, uh, you know, bouncing off of this declining uh, trend line here. And I think there's a little bit more for the uh, downside for the uh, transportation. And then the, the New York Composite, you, know, you can see the New York Composite is really, you know, making this, uh, forming this head and shoulder pattern here. Right? You know, so you can see this, a little bit apparent. Right? So right now it's this level here, this uh, 10,678. Want to see could it hold this, but we of course could see it maybe a little bit bounce up here to somewhere, you know, then it come down and, and break this, and then we come down and test this, uh, you know, 10,532 or 10,390, which is uh, somewhere in the December closing uh, pivot low. Okay. And look at the NASDAQ 100. You see the NASDAQ 100. It uh, I got this Fibonacci retracement, it's also kind of tagged this 127 extension to 4692. And I think the intraday high is 46.94, so two point, basically a little bit less than two point uh, uh, above that uh, extension there. Okay, and you can see that it's coming back down and retest the uh, previous high, this pivot high here. Okay, so uh, so we might get a little bit of a bounce maybe uh, because we do have Facebook and Twitter uh, reporting earnings next week. Uh, maybe uh, that will give a little bit of a uh, momentum on the upside. Uh, next week to uh, lift this uh, uh, NASDAQ 100 a uh, little bit. Uh, but if the weakness continues, then we're probably looking at this 37, uh, you know, 79, uh, pretty close to, I mean, 40, 43, 79 or 43, 80 level here. And you could just basically look at these Fibonacci retracement uh, level here. You know, then it's uh, most likely you're just going to come back down and try to, you know, find some kind of support and bounce off one of these retracement level. And if it's not, then we're basically looking for it to uh, continue to come down and retest this uh, 4078, 4079. Uh, level down here and again these are basically you know near the uh, December closing low and then finally on the Russell 2000 you can see Russell 2000 once it made this all-time high and came down and we got a little bounce here so again you know it could be forming a little bit of a head and shoulder pattern using this as a uh, baseline here okay so we got to watch this level of uh, 1225 1226 and although we might see a little bit of a bounce and get back up above this trend line uh, I think that it will continue to come down if weakness uh, prevail. It will come back down to uh, test this 1208 and then eventually get down to this uh, 1140 level somewhere around, you know, the uh, December uh, closing low. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at uh, Facebook. Uh, Facebook is scheduled for earning uh, next week. I believe it's on the Wednesday and uh, on the 29th. And uh, you can see that uh, recently I've been quite strong and it came up and made a new all-time high. But again, you see this little pattern here. Uh, we essentially got a uh, little bit of a, uh, you know, uh, evening star, even though 
this right here is a green candle, but still it's a gap down. So you can see that uh, it tried to get back up. So we'll, we'll be watching to see would it be able to, you know, take out the previous high and move about that 100 level. I believe uh, we have a 102 type of target on the trend line here on the price trend. Let me uh, go back and, uh, you know, do that. So if we uh, take a, uh, you know, do a uh, little bit of a price channel here from this, you know, the, uh, well, it's essentially I think it uh, kind of exceeded that already. So we might want to go and take a look at the Fibonacci retracement, right? So maybe, you know, kind of looking at it down here and we could see that there is a uh, 104 level here at the 1618. So you can see that we could be a possible target, right? Because right now, it would originally we were looking at this, you know, uh, uh, 90 some level. Let me go and do the weekly to see what that looked like. Okay, so you can see that we got a, a little bit of a, you know, doji type of a, a, ham, a spinning top candle, and we're essentially looking at this 104 now at this 161. Uh, you know, let's uh, go and try to line this up a little bit more here. Uh, be a little bit more precise. Okay, not it really make much of a difference, but you know, just for curiosity's sake. And it looked like it's a 10606. I mean, 10660. And it is uh, above this particular trend line here. Okay, we're looking at this trend line and possibly of this. Uh, you know, more of a, a price channel. So if it drop, it could be dropping back down to the uh, 70, 60 area. But uh, right now it seems very unlikely. And so we kind of wait, uh, see what the uh, earning uh, will bring for uh, Facebook and see how that would, uh, you know, play out and uh, help out with the, uh, the NASDAQ. Okay. So then the uh, next one uh, is, uh, let me see here. Okay, now uh, let's take a look at uh, Twitter. Twitter is uh, uh, scheduled to report earning on uh, Tuesday after the close. And you can see that it bounced off of this low here. Right? And it's coming up and it's kind of, you know, testing this resistance level somewhere around this 36 area. So uh, if it could hold above this 36, uh, and uh, essentially I'm looking for this 38.20, you know, if we could break through this 38.20, then we we'll probably see a little bit more upside. So depending on what the uh, earning uh, will bring for uh, Twitter, because like right now it's uh, you know there's a lot of negative uh, sentiment on uh, Twitter, and I think the expectation is for uh, uh, for it to drop after earning, and uh, you know the market might do a, a little bit of a above phase on uh, ca try to catch these uh, these short on a uh, wrong side of the trade here. So we'll be watching to see what uh, Twitter gonna do after earning here, uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to see that uh, it could come up and try to text, you know, take out this 3820. Or if it drop, you know, anything is possible and take out this 34, uh, you know, and change this, uh, this low here and maybe get into a new low territory. So we just have to keep watch on that. And then, uh, you know, let's take a look at Apple. You know, Apple was a little bit disappointing last week. It reported earning, although it's got a little bit bounce back here, but wasn't much. And it is coming down, you know, try to, and, and you know, it's still be con it, it is still confined in this trading band here between this 120 area to the 133. And here it's almost got up to that 133. And matter of fact, it's only about three cents away from that 133 on this day. Uh, you know, it's 132.97, and you can see how it came back down after earning. So uh, we might uh, continue to see Apple to, uh, you know, to to pull back and possibly uh, come back and uh, retest this 119.75 area, this 120 area here, before it could uh, maybe uh, make a decision of whether to uh, come back up and take out this 133 or drop back down and. Uh, maybe possibly even come below this 114 and try to fill this gap down here at this 112 area. So we just have to keep an eye on Apple. Certainly it's not one of the leaders right now. Okay. And then uh, the other one that also kind of interesting to watch is Google. Uh, it got a big pop after earning. And then you see this little bit of a, you know, a shooting star type of candle. And now it's kind of, you know, selling off. 
I uh, wouldn't be surprised if it will come down and fill this gap down at the 601 because this looked like a little bit of a low blowout to me but again you know I mean the chart could change so but right now at least based on the uh, the candle you know it seemed like you know it's just kind of got a little bit excessive here you know I mean uh, was that it went up a hundred some odd dollar you know so and then the other one is uh, Amazon and we can see Amazon is really getting this little blowout candle here uh, it just kind of faded all the way down here from what is that the high of uh, 580.57 to a close of uh, 529 all right, so so I wouldn't be surprised to see it work itself down and try to fill this gap here or at least come down to this trend line and maybe make a little bit of a test for support and try to bounce here. So I'd be looking at somewhere around this 520 area to see how the price react. Then the other one is Netflix. Uh, again, this uh, seems like a little bit of a, you know, a, a, a temporary top here. Uh, forming a little bit of a, uh, you could say a pennant or a descending triangle here. Right, you could uh, look at it, this thing here. Right. Okay, so you can see here's a little bit of a flag. Okay, so we'll see. Uh, you know, this 107, 10, you know, 108 level to see could it hold this. Essentially, we got this, you know, Fibonacci uh, retracement here, and this uh, gap zone here is essentially the uh, retracement zone of the Fibonacci retracement here. So we gotta watch these level here to see. Uh, how uh, respectful the price will be when it get to these uh, level, and if it uh, move back down below 100, then I wouldn't be surprised to see it come down and we test this one 91, uh, 12 here. Okay, and then finally we also was uh, kind of looking at Baba, right? Okay, and uh, came down, bounced off this 80, you know, after it got a little bit of a flush here, you know, it snapped back, and uh, right now it seems to be working its way up to this uh, 87 level here. You know, if it come down to this 82, we're looking at this 82 as a uh, little bit of a near-term support. So watch this 82 level. If it break this 82, then there's a good chance we might see it come back down and we test this 79, 50 area. But if it hold, then uh, we could see it uh, come up and try to take out this 87 and maybe walk itself up to uh, break out of this particular resistance here, 89.30. So I think the key resistance to break is 89.30 once it, you know, break this uh, declining trend line. Okay, if we could uh, hold above this, if it could hold above this 89.30, then there's a good possibility it could uh, work itself up to uh, fill this gap here and maybe uh, work itself back up to that 100. But again, you know, watch the uh, earning day. Uh, it is uh, due the uh, 8 12, so that's a couple weeks away. So, uh, so uh, that's it. Good luck uh, next week.